What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. And frankly, I'm a little bit frustrated. Summer is amazing, but it's taking a while for the temperatures to actually drop and for fall to be here. So today we're gonna escape into the future fall, which I'm really excited about, with this little fall haul. I've got 25 pieces from six different brands, all high quality brands, with uh, some timeless pieces, some more standout pieces. I'm really excited to walk you guys through it. This video is sponsored by Lestrange London, which I'll show you what this brand is all about in just a second. But uh, really excited. If you see anything you like, links will be down below. With that said, let's get started with a brand that I don't think you guys know yet. Unless, of course, you follow me on Instagram. But this is a beautiful, heavyweight, double-breasted trench coat from Neely Loden in all black. A beautiful piece that I think is going to carry me well through the fall and also winter if you layer this appropriately. It's a very structured shoulder, very determined, very masculine shape, and it's a very rigid fabric. So this is a really nice standout piece. And the first thing I wanted to start with Outerwear, black, simple, versatile, and strong. Also from Neely Loden, this beautiful cream colored crew neck. It's a fairly loose neck and it's also a little bit cropped, the sweater itself. So besides the fact that this feels incredible against the skin, it's ultra, ultra soft. The color is beautiful and the fit is very interesting. So the cropped aesthetic definitely makes this a bit more fashion forward than your staple crew neck cream colored sweater. Trying to have a bit more fun with trousers this season. These ones are also from Lily Loden, the last piece that I have from that brand. Definitely check them out. Beautiful stuff, very high quality and very unique. These are a little bit thinner in terms of the fabric, which is fine by me though, because they drape really nicely. They're a pair of cropped pants. We've got that nice, like almost like a patch pocket detail on the front, very large, and a little bit of a drop crotch design to these. So these are definitely not like 95% of the pants that I have in my uh, wardrobe. They're fairly different, a little bit more baggy, a little bit more cropped, so I'm excited to play around with these, especially with high boots this fall. Moving on to Lestrange London, before we dive into the pieces, a little bit about the brand. It's clearly based in London, and their ethos is to do more with less. So if you were to take a stroll across their website, you see a lot of classic, timeless pieces that are high quality, that work well with each other, but on top of that, they're not just focused on specific seasons, they're trying to create pieces that work year round. Let's take the modular cotton Mac, for example. This is a really lightweight cotton Mac that is water repellent, but for the fall winter, you can order a couple of modular bits to make this more winter appropriate, which I think is a beautiful thing. A tan Mac coat, an absolute essential in the fall winter wardrobe. Excited to try this one out and excited to wear it with a few other pieces that I also got from this range. Let me show you. Here we have the 24 blazer, 24 as in 24 hours a day. This will keep you comfortable and stylish. It's made from cotton, it's unstructured. It is a bit more casual, but it works really, really well. Also works really well seasonless. On top of that, underneath it to be more specific, we've got the 24 pant. Now, thousands of hours have gone into reworking this to make it the perfect pant. And here's what that looks like. We've got a hidden elastic on the left and the right, we've got a two inch hem on the inside of the pants. So if you want to wear them more cropped, if you want to make them shorter, you can easily just roll these inwards. There's a good amount of stretch in here and overall they have a really nice and comfortable feel. Now you might be thinking the 24 pen and the 24 blazer, sounds like that could be a 24 suit and that is correct. These are made from the same fabric so you can wear these together as a more casual suiting option. In terms of shirting, two beautiful options right here in navy on my left, the over shirt, a shirt jacket, a bit thicker with the push buttons on the right. We have the classic Oxford, also in navy. Both fit really, really nicely. If you want a piece that can work as a shirt but can also work as a jacket, then this is clearly going off of the name where you should be heading. Um, if you want to just opt for a simple classic Oxford shirt, I think this one is really, really well made. We've got the black buttons, which keep the whole shirt a little darker, which I like for darker colored Oxfords or button down shirts in general. So two beautiful pieces. Navy is nice and dark and really rich. So really, really versatile. And that also holds true for the next piece, which is this gorgeous quarter sip polo sweater, also in navy. Beautiful detailing around the collar right here. I love a good quarter zip. This is a really nice classy option to go with that. The feel of the fabric is really nice and soft and it feels very luxurious. So excited to wear this a few different ways. And if you wanna wear something underneath, like a simple white t-shirt, then they also got you covered on that realm. This is a simple white tee in size medium. What makes it special is that we have that 
tailored design that is loaned from the Oxford shirt on the back, which makes the uh, aesthetic from the back a little bit more interesting, which I think is dope because that's a part that's often overlooked with t-shirts. But if you wear this as a base layer and then take off your jacket or whatever you have on top of it, then this is a nice little detail. So now that's the strange, check out the links and check out the website if you guys want to find out a little bit more about this dope London brand. But now we're moving into suit supply. And I'm gonna make another video just on these suits very, very soon. But two I wanted to point out that I recently got are these two beautiful single-breasted flannel suits in navy and in tan. And I wanted to point these two out in particular because I think they'll be incredibly versatile come the fall winter season. For one, the flannel fabric is inherently going to make you a bit warmer, a bit warmer than your classic wool cotton blend, whatever it may be. And then these two colors in particular, I feel like I didn't really have a nice taupe like tan color suit in my wardrobe that works and isn't too much of a statement. Same with the navy, I have a few navy suits but I wanted to get something that's a bit more uh bit more casual, not really casual, just a bit more relaxed and still tailored. So I uh, wanted to point these two out and um, they also have a nice fit maker tool available online right now, which I'll tell you more about in that next video. Uh, but stay tuned for that, subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you don't miss that one. Just wanted to point this out with these two absolute beauties. All right, here we have a suede camel trench coat from Banana Republic. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a bit on the thicker side. Definitely gonna keep you warm to some extent. It is suede, so you do wanna be careful if you wear something like this out in the snow or the rain. But this is a gorgeous piece. I think something that's going to age in really, really well, to wear in really, really well. And I have not had the chance yet to put this on my body and walk outside. Like I said, I'm getting frustrated with the temperatures, but beautiful piece, nice and straightforward in terms of the um, silhouette overall, but then the fabric is what makes it so special. Bunch of beautiful pieces at Banana Republic this season. We've got a nice oversized cardigan in a cream color. And then just in the middle down here, you see dangling a woven leather belt. Um, I don't I really have a point in presenting these together, but um, this is hanging on here, so I'm talking about both now. But a beautiful, nice piece. Cardigans, I feel like this immediately takes me to like countryside. I wanna be in a cabin, I wanna like hang out and wear this. And then belts, um, actually separate note on belts. I feel like they're gonna come back in a, in a good bit. I haven't been wearing belts in a whole, whole long time. And find myself recently wearing a lot more, and this is something that I was missing from my closet, so I'm excited for this in particular. Oxford shirt, also available at Banana Republic. Here we have a simple, classic, light blue, something that I feel like I also want in my wardrobe for a while. I'm excited to go a little bit more tailored this season, so a classic Oxford. Or even if you go for a t-shirt, something a bit more fun, a bit more standout. Cream colored with tan, light, light, tan, slim, horizontal stripes. Now I described this t-shirt to you as if you didn't see it before. Well, anyway, I think this is a nice base layer and just something to keep it a bit more interesting. And then certainly not least, but last for Banana Republic, we've got these nice black relaxed pleated chinos that are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I might get them tailored just a tiny bit just to take the height up uh, a little. A little, a little. Really, really love these, the pleat and that whole relaxed fit. Through the leg is nice, but then it fits really, really well around the waist. So excited to wear these. I got these in a size 30, 32, and normally I'm a size 31, leaning more on 32. So if you're gonna get these, size down. Brand number five, and just a couple of pieces I wanna highlight right now from On This Day, OTD, a New York brand. Um, here we've got in a size 50, a beautiful suede overshirt in green. We've got brass push buttons, absolutely gorgeous. And also the denim jacket that I'm wearing right now, light colored, slim fitted, a bit more crop than even normal. So uh, two beautiful pieces on this day. If you don't know this brand, uh, the creative director is John Varvatos, who used to be the designer at his namesake label. So check them out. It's higher end, but uh, some beautiful pieces in there. Right now, two of my favorite cargos that I just got are not here yet because they're at the tailor. I'm making a couple minor adjustments just around the bottom. So I'm gonna show you some B-roll right here. But um, yeah, I consider these part of the haul as well. Two gorgeous, bit more relaxed, straight fit chinos that, uh, cargos, I'm sorry, that are absolutely amazing. <laughs> And then last but certainly not least, a few pieces from Paige. Paige is a beautiful brand that's known very much for their denim, but they've got a bunch of other things coming, like this beautiful anorak in a satiny fabric. Um, olive green, muted, 
absolutely beautiful. Not super easy to wear on the regular, but excited to actually play around with this and see what I can make happen. Paige is a beautiful destination for a few of those fall essentials, like the corduroy shirt. In this case, a very thick one, so a corduroy shirt, corduroy shirt jacket. There we go. Faded green, beautiful, two pockets, well designed, and a fairly thick corduroy, so I, I really, really like this piece. Could go really well on top of this. Nice, simple flannel in a few different shades of green, um, even some brown in there. Flannels, they do really well as well. This is a size medium, so if you want them to be a bit more relaxed, um, I would opt to size up, or if you want them like truly form-fitting, then go tr true to size. This one fits me perfectly. <laughs> Another option for now the shirt jacket, meeting the flannel, a bit more of a minimal design on this flannel. We've got a gray and cream specked base color. And then we've got a red check on here. Um, beautiful, beautiful, a bit more relaxed. I think this is super fun. It can almost lean a little bit more into like the streetwear flannel type world, which I'm excited to play around with this. And to finish up, we've got two bottoms from Paige. Both are buttery smooth and soft. Um, on my right, a pair of traveler like dress pants that are a bit more on the stretchy side in a gray color. And then on my left, we've got a pair of um, jogger upper chinos they're like a very washed denim so that's not just about the feel but also the look you can kind of see it in the fabric but two nice um colors honestly primarily is why i went for these colors that i don't necessarily have on my uh in my pant realm so i wanted to play with those two but with that we're through for today as you can see, there's a bunch of new pieces that I'd love to start wearing already. Hopefully the temperatures start actually dropping soon. Let me know if you guys like this. These are uh, very different brands than I normally talk about in hauls. That's why I threw also a few together. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, let me know if you guys are shopping anything. I would love to know which brands or which pieces you really gravitated towards. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links are in the description, so make sure to check those out. I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye, y'all.